Hey, what about this? We're making some progress, aren't we? This is finally feeling like a room thanks to the drywall that's going up. It's covered up the studs, which behind the wall here has wiring, plumbing, all the things that make the house work, as well as that green insulation made from soybean oil that we sprayed into the walls. Now, this drywall that we're using is not ordinary gypsum board that is wrapped in paper. This has a special wrapping on it that makes it moisture and mold resistant. So it will last for a long time. You see, with ordinary uh, drywall, the mold, that black mold, which can be a real health risk, actually feeds on the paper. And so this is a product that's designed where the mold will not eat it and water can actually flow across this and it will not penetrate into the gypsum. Now, in the old days, what they did is they actually did plaster walls. So in this brick house, what you would have had is you would have had plaster applied to the brick itself or they would have studded it out and put lathing up little wood strips and then covered it with plaster and put the finish on it. From here, what we will do is we'll begin to finish this sheet rock out. It'll have a smooth finish on it, just as you would have seen a house in the 1840s. Now let's go back to the width of the walls here for just a moment. These walls upon completion are gonna be about 22 inches thick. You can see that at the window. It's very wide and the idea was to create an 1840s brick house and to do that, we needed those wider walls. So we built it with frame, put brick on the outside, filled in with the insulation, furred it out so you have that depth of wall so it really feels like an old house. And when you think about the insulation that you get from creating a wall that thick, well, it's huge. These guys have come in here and they've been blowing through the house. They're doing a great job. And they tell me they're gonna have the whole house done in just a couple of days.